Ladies, welcome back to my YouTube channel. <laughs> um, breaking down some songs off of my new record called Element. And this song is the title track to the album, also called Element. And uh, I wrote this song, I want to say in 2021, early 2021. But my memory of it coming together kind of coincides with a heat wave that we went through here in Vancouver where uh, I really couldn't do anything aside from like go to an air conditioned studio or be at my house and like be passed out from no air conditioning because nobody has air conditioning in Vancouver and we need it turns out. But um, this song is kind of inspired by early 2000s chill out music. I was really finding a great satisfaction in self-soothing through the songs I was writing <laughs> during the pandemic. And what I mean by that is um, I just wanted to create music that made me feel kind of like I was traveling or like I was somewhere that was like escapism essentially. I was trying to really channel escapism and this song for me, I wanted to just be like floaty and airy and sort of like an homage to the music I love. That's, you know, trip hop music, Massive Attack, all those kinds of bands. And then also the chill out era, which is, you know, Air and Zero Seven and uh, Tricky, even though that's more trip hop. But I love that era of music, those two eras of music. And I wanted to kind of make something similar to that, that had this sort of feeling of floatiness and and kind of um, sort of like a, not uplifting necessarily, but just sort of otherworldly, I guess. And again, escapist. So something you might listen to while you're flying somewhere. And uh, during the pandemic, I keep saying that, but I really, I mean, that's when I wrote it. Turns out the timing worked out. And I have not in my adult life ever not been on tour. So it was the first time in my entire life that I was not either about to go play a show or had something planned for, you know, a week from now or whatever. And that was really hard for me, I think, because it was part of my identity as being a touring musician. So when that finally stopped, I was really kind of confused for a while and I wanted to create something that kind of made me feel like I was still continuing on a journey, <laughs> a journey. Millennials hate the word journey, moist and uh, authentic, I think it is. It's a weird thing. Like we, we all have this weird aversion to it. I don't know why. Journey. journey. Everyone like loves to say that they hate the word journey. I'm not sure why. Huh. Huh. Back to this. Uh, this is a song written about watching people I love go through really hard stuff. And uh, it's sort of a comforting message to them and sort of like a, me saying, I see you, I see what you're going through and I'm sorry. And, uh, but also kind of a, a, a attempt at being an escapist artist. <laughs> I don't think I've ever said that. I didn't mean to, an escapist artist. It's a bit of a pun, isn't it? It's a bit of a pun. It's not very funny though, is it? Um, it's great. It's a, it's a good one. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I was sitting here, I, was, I got lost in thought because when you said escapist and, and when you were describing like your journey or even like the different colors for every song. Yeah. I was lost in thought about like this, there, realizing that there's so much through story of the record in terms of the colors, the palettes, the, there's an etherealness to, yeah. to it mm -hmm. that it's not, it's not new agey. Like there's the Enya, Touch, there's any of vibes at times, but like you said, like air, yeah, um, the trip hop vibe, and it's like all atmospheric. There's lots of atmosphere in yeah. the songs. Yeah. And Element has that atmosphere as well. Really important to me in production, actually, is atmosphere. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and it was something that really was an aha moment working with you for me was it. it, it it's very easy to get too hard, like. Mm -hmm. Uh, a hi hat can get too brittle, or or a beat can get too punchy, and so it was getting that right conversation yeah. between the instruments. Yeah, for sure. To back up what what you're delivering. Yeah, I know we kind of touched on that with one of the other songs in the discussion about it, but but it, it, you really see that there's this through line. There's elements that, no pun intended, mm -hmm. that that you draw from for each song, but yet there's a cohesiveness 
with your with your vocabulary and, and how you present it. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Well, that's a that's fun to talk about because I really love I'm a visual person. If you tell me something and you describe it boring, I'm not going to I'm not going to remember it. But if you tell me I went to this island and the trees were so green and they were like this different shade of you know, like a, a deeper kind of moss or whatever that will resonate with me. And I've only, I guess it's just part of, um, like I, I'm really accepting these parts of me in this moment in my life where I'm like, yeah, it's okay to be a visual thinker. It's okay to be, um, somebody who thinks in color. Like that's not <laughs> whatever. That's just how I am. Right. Um, it's just more, I heard Mariah Carey describe something good as festive on a podcast. And now I'm like really into that. So it could just keep it festive, you know, like if it's festive, I'll remember it. So, um, yeah, this song is very much about me trying to reflect that. And, um, even like the synths, I think we really didn't have to work too hard to get what we needed. It was quite easy because my original mm -hmm. demo had, I believe I used, um, I think I may have used a Jupiter but we ended up using your Jupiter. The, the Prophet 6. The Prophet 6, yeah. that's right. Yeah. Yeah, we used the Prophet. So I think I may have even used something like that on my Arturia V7 collection, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which I love. And uh, the intro, let me play it for a second. Element. So those synth pads that are behind my vocal there, it was really important for me to immediately think of being on an airplane with those synths. It was just immediately, I think of airplanes. It's something about like a thick, warm, kind of like really midi, kind of mid, midi, as in like middle range synth reminds me of flying. So that was a really important quality for me to have in this song. Just again, kind of going back to what its purpose was for me. And um, that's the first time I've heard you say that about the oh, flying. Yeah. Like, an airplane kind of vibe because there's a modulation to that synth that's yeah it's wavering it's like it, yeah. it does it feels like you're kind of traveling a little through bit air. totally yeah. and i really love i mean ever i think everyone can probably relate to the sentence i love to travel i do love traveling every time i have a really big flight i make a playlist just for that flight i get excited i'm one of those weird people that really loves long flights and um that kind of is a reference to that i guess you could say and the original vocal for this demo, actually, um, I wonder if we can find it. Do you have in the front, in the back, in the middle as a stem? I'm not sure if that made it onto that. Well, that's fine. Oh, yes, it did. Right here. Good. Yeah. So this background vocal, I don't even know what I'm, I don't know what I'm talking about. It's just a phonetic sort of riff that I did. I, I work a lot out of how words sound rather than what they mean <laughs> for better or for worse. But that's just kind of how I like to write for myself. And um, this was a background vocal I really, really loved for a reason I don't really fully understand, but there's something kind of disjointed about it and like eerie and kind of like doesn't quite sound that great that I liked about it because it's a dissonant harmony. I think I'm doing like a one, I'm doing a, obviously like a one, two, I think I'm doing like a one, two, four, five, or one, two, three, one, two, four, five. Yeah, I think I'm doing that and maybe a seventh on top. So it's kind of this like weird. It's like an old car horn. Yeah, it's like a car horn. Yeah, it's dissonant, right? Yeah, it's a different kind of chord that I'm building with my voice under underneath a really, um, I think, solid tonal song. So I find that to be important because I don't want to get too airy fairy. Though I always like to walk that line because, I mean, honestly, New Age music is a big influence for me. <laughs> I can't help it. I love, I mean, it's Journey nice. to the Center, that big compilation record. I think it's called Journey to the Center. Now I have to double check that. But Laraji, big fan. Um, I really like that kind of music that takes you out of your everyday life. You know, like I'm really not in this moment in, in time right now, at least, where I want to see myself reflected back in my art. I want to see something different because <laughs> I want to be removed from my experience right now and I want to feel inspired. And that's how I'm writing music a lot these days is how can I remove myself from my current moment? I don't want to be real and honest right now in my music um, sonically. I do lyrically, but sonically, I want to create more fantastical worlds. And I feel as though I'm, I'm only just beginning to, to get where I want to be with that in production. So it's kind of fun for me to to think back of all these palettes that are used. And um, this song I will add to is really hard to sing. 
I think I re-recorded this vocal like what three times or something. Twenty-seven. Yeah, I times. I re-recorded like every lead on this album like a hundred thousand times. No. I don't know. No, yeah, it was it's okay. It's, no, it took what, a long time. It was interesting because you you it, you have pushed yourself vocally on this record, and vocally in terms of range and and melody, and to see you, you know, take a pass at it, not be hundred percent happy with what you've done and come back and better yourself and rise to the occasion to the point where the record would have been fine the way you sang it through the first time. Yeah. But now, like when I'm talking to people like, oh, well, how's the new Louise Burns record? And it, the first thing that comes to my mind isn't isn't anything that, you know, I contributed to or anything. It was more just, it was seeing your growth as a, as a vocalist and a performer and performing those vocals and those melodies uh, um, and to see that 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 giant leap forward I think it was really exciting oh well thank you for saying that and of course yeah. we have to credit Carolyn Quinn for that too because she's really been such a huge influence yeah. on on just the way I've approached vocals and for me I never really put a lot of time into it I've been able to sing I'm a pretty good singer I say like I don't even mean this in a self-deprecating way I think I'm a pretty average singer but I have grand ambitions for my voice and not being able to get to those grand ambitions for my entire career has sort of been this thing that's held me back from singing so many different kinds of, of music. And this record, I'm like, why, why wouldn't I try harder? Let's like dive into this world of vocals. And I've never really done that before. I've never used my, my vocal as not just like a harmony machine, but more like a, an actual, interpreter of emotion it's never been a huge focus for me as a singer which is kind of weird to say it's almost blasphemous to say as a singer because what are you what are you doing if you're not conveying emotion with your voice but um i've been so preoccupied with my tone and trying not to be screechy and really like trying to get the sort of higher frequencies of my voice under control that i forget that no one cares no one's listening to that it's all it's about how you say something and and that was really fun for me to sort of go for this time around and of course working with a producer who had the patience to put up with that was amazing because it's not every day you find somebody who's gonna actually like support you on your journey <laughs> with becoming right. a better vocalist i mean jay could have many times over been like i'm busy i don't want to sit here for two years but he did he stuck around as i as i went through this like side side journey of finding my my voice and i just sound like such a new age person right now but no, i am it's Fuck it, i am <laughs> people need to uh, if you want to hear i can add to that new age i'm not happy with a vocal until you hear the truth yeah yeah, and it yeah sounds so cheesy to say oh the truth but it's not it's not the truth of what you're saying in the lyric it's led that the truth of the of what you're trying to do yeah so you can hit your notes there's times when you're like oh i'm like oh yeah you hit the notes it's in tune mm -hmm. um i don't believe you yeah there's no soul to it there's no soul and yeah. and i think people as a, a listener even a passive listener you can hear when people are are hitting their truth and i think that's yeah. what's the that's the difference between uh a good song and a great song, yeah, for and something sure. that tap that hits people on a large on a, a on a bigger scale. Yeah, I think. Yeah, and I think people are going to hear that in your in these songs. I think. well, thank you. Because I could. Hopefully, who knows? But I also think that it doesn't really. For for me, I've really found myself to be on a new inspirational kind of road in terms of like conquering my own voice. It's very fun to me now. I, it's something I can control, and I love being in control. <laughs> And I think with my voice opposed to an instrument I play, I know that it's sort of this, it is connected to yourself as a person. And, and it's also co connected to your physical ability and your stamina. And it's all this stuff that I just have never thought about before. So it's kind of nice to find something new and exciting at this point in my career, making this is my fifth record and having something I just simply had never really thought about putting time into before it's uh a whole new world. <laughs> Integrate effect. Yeah, exactly. Integrate effect. <laughs> but like a whole new world, like the low one. <laughs> okay, that's done. <laughs>